Welcome back. This is episode three of the threes solo to SSL series, the series where I show you exactly how I'd play to rank up as a peak GC3 player and coach with over 3K hours in Rocket League myself. We're going to be climbing through the Diamond 3 to Champ 1 area and add some great examples of what play style works at these ranks. So this should be really valuable if you're watching around there. And if you are gold through Champ rank watching right now, my coaching program that takes players like you up to GC in just six weeks or less is actually nearly sold out. At the time I'm recording this, we just crossed 1,900 players in the program, and we're at over 90 of 125 seats taken for our January 2023 launch. So if you want to get involved before we sell out and go on pause until spring of next year, DM me on Discord with the keyword three for this video, and we could talk details. I'll have the link first thing in the description below. Otherwise, enjoy. All right, jumping into game one. Uh, he looks like he's sheeting up, so I'll go grab boost. Or he's going for kickoff. That's fine. All right, here we're just going to play back. My whole team's up, so I'm just going to wait, play it safe, stay under that ball so I don't get 50 and wait back. Now we're on the backboard. I've got the easiest hit here. I want to hit it soft into my corner. I don't want to bang it out and give them a potential shot opportunity or anything like that. I just want to play it safe, and that's going to give us uh, an open net. So here's an interesting, you know, moment where, like, a lot of people, like, when they're on the backboard, they just want to hit that ball as hard as possible. But I realize that there's somebody waiting middle, so there's no rush to hit it out to the middle. I want to hit it soft into my corner and then be able to follow it up. All right, we're going to cheat up here. Looks like my teammate's going to be back, so I'm going to grab corner boost because I have time, and now I'm coming here. My teammate wants to cut in front. That's fine. So I'm going to wait super far back. That allows me to get a hit up, and I can go for some sort of shot. My first touch was a little hard, so I couldn't actually chase the ball down, but it'll still work. And the key there was just waiting back because I see my teammate cutting in front of me. Like, like that's half of the battle in 3v3. Is like when you see your teammates like cut super aggressively, you just don't want to uh, don't want to go. Like here on low boost, my teammates could probably make a better touch, so I'm just gonna try to play back, grab boost, cover the safe option. I see my teammate mid, so I'm just gonna continue to way back play third until it's my time now i see my teammate going back on the right so i can go up i want to play it high but not really commit anywhere so that way you know i'm, I'm recovering off the backboard so i'll be fine continue rotating through the play oh i missed that boost and this guy just leaves instantly i'm gonna wait back post is that game one <laughs> my teammate almost clears me there <laughs> game one fellas they left. On to game two. We're going to go back right here. Looks like nobody's going for a ball. He's going to boom down. This guy's flying. There's no touch. So I'll just wait. Teammate hits it off to the side. That's fine. Nice. He'll get one touch up. Thought I could get the ball over him there. Not quite. Ball will come back center. Looks like my teammate has. Not quite. Maybe I can get an air roll around. Look for a bump. I'm waiting to see if my teammate misses. Get a slight shot on that. That's a nice redirect. Cheat up here. Ball come to the right. I'm going to get one touch and then try to make it around. I get bumped. That's fine. I'm just going to move through once my play is done. I realize nobody's back here, so I'm going to move back a little bit. Fine. We get the we get the play up. Nice. I'll come center. I do cut my teammate off a little bit there. It's my bad. Hit the ball center and then rotate through. I'll cheat up here. Ball's going to go right. I have the right to take that boost because my teammate's just coming off kickoff. <laughs> Did I fake that guy out somehow? I'm driving there to try to get in the way just so he doesn't have a free shot. But I'm not trying to chat, you know, I'm not trying to actually clear that ball. <laughs> we'll cheat up. I'll come center. Nobody's going here. So I can play the ball very high. And then try to rotate back. Play one soft touch. Not try to do anything crazy. Keep the angles at a minimum for them. It's going to be very hard for them to score from those angles. Now I have an advantage. I'll wait center. I don't want to push up too far. just want to be around the midfield. No farther. And that'll lead to another goal. And looks like we're 4-0. It's going to be another forfeit. Maybe not. I'll come around here. I'm just going to keep rotating back post. I could have probably looked for a demo on that guy's center in retrospect, but 
you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to try to focus on playing back. It's like pinball over here. Going to get some slight air roll and then go for a shot. Able to take boost here. Got to watch shot. Oh, it's a nice shot. He'll boom that over. That's fine. We'll just play back here. Now focus on cheating up. No real play, so I'm going to move back a little bit, get in a good position, and then maybe go. Fine, he hits it over my head. Just get back, rotate around, collect boost, stay back post. Get a big flick over. Maybe be able to go for a follow-up. Once there's nothing, get back. Don't let him demo me. Rotate back post. And now we're safe. I'm going to play back here because both my teammates are up. Somebody's got to be back. Maybe get a slightly better, better touch. Nobody on my team's here, so I want to kind of move up. Now my teammate should have it. Oh, this is a dangerous spot for the ball to be, so almost always going to want to fly there. Now I'm going to try to get behind. Keep this net in front of me, so that way it's not awkward. And just try to keep it away for as long as possible. There we go. Keep the ball in front of me until we get an open net. Right back here. Gonna try to challenge to get in the way. I'll say my bad. As second man, I can't really go back there. My my teammate who's third should probably be the one going back once he sees me. I could have covered his shot better though. So that's my fault. Cheat up. Ball's gonna go high here. I'm just gonna instantly jump because I see I have at least one beat. Fair enough. And this guy is <laughs> coasting. <laughs> Ball come back center. He looks like he's gonna get a touch. Able to hit one to the side. Moving through. And it looks like this game will be very good. He's still going for a shot. That's fine. Gonna hit one up. Just keep getting in the way. My teammates are both up. I'm going to turn back a little bit. Just be ready for if it comes. And Oh, he's still going. That's fine. Try to cover back in that as much as I can. And <laughs> If they just rotate off the ball. Like, you're driving towards our part. Both of them. You see how, like, just stop driving towards our side of the field. Like, if the ball's on the left, move to the right. If the ball's on the right, move to the left. Stop. <laughs> We're going to include this game for sure. We might cut out some of the games in the middle. Oh, my gosh. We'll include this first this game in episode two, 100 percent He'll hit it over. Nice. I just want to hit this ball up the wall. Maybe look for demo. Not overcommit. I can turn on this. He gets a beat. Fair enough. Notice how I'm just getting around. I can look to disrupt people at the midfield, force him away, and then get around. There's so many benefits to rotating across like that. Just chilling. There's no play quite yet. So I'm just chilling. Try to keep it in. Nice. He's going to hit it over me. I'm going to trust that one of my teammates has a better angle. I'll get back. Play all the way around. Keep the net in front. And we're safe. I'm out of boost. <laughs> Should be able to score that though, but I'm out of boost. <laughs> Able to demo him on the rotation through. And maybe get a shot in. That'll be game. Final game. We got Bobby, Mini, a couple guys. We'll rotate back here. A shot might come, so I'm just going to try to stay as far back in the net as I can so I can react quickly. Once my teammates are going, let him go. Stay back here, collect as much boost as I can. He might be beat, so I'm just going to continue to play back. Once I see this ball's bouncing up, then I can go. Because I realize I'm definitely not going to be dusted to that ball. And try to collect all these boost pads as I rotate through and just wait half because my team is continually going. And that'll lead to an open eventually. We'll rotate back. 
And just by staying back post, I'm I'm able to save that shot that's in front of me. We'll stay back here. I'm creeping because I, I need to pressure, but I have no boost, so I really don't want to commit. I'd rather wait back, be able to get boost, and then move up into the play. This ball will come center. And because I grab boost, I'm there. Like, here it looks like he has me beat, so I'm just going to turn back, go for boost, and make sure we clear it off the side. That's great. Looks like nobody's here. I went, I went, I wanted to go for a bump after I realized that everybody missed. And are my teammates just diamond it up? Almost. I hear somebody behind me. I tried to dodge the demo there, like slow my speed, but that oh, happens sometimes. Ball will come across. Doesn't look like my teammate wants to go, but this guy's hit touch is just going to be straight into the wall. So as long as I'm there, I'm able to get a clear. Not the best clear, but it'll still work. I'm going to play back post here. And because I'm rotating around, I'm ready when that ball comes. I can move up and try to grab all these mid boosts and just wait back here. I see all my team challenging, so I want to be as far back as possible. I'm going to hit that a little high there. Should have scored that if I'm, if I'm approaching better. I see, I see my teammates behind me, so I'm going to turn up. Probably could have gone for a soft touch there, but just putting it off the backboard. It's insane how, how good of a strategy that is. Hitting it high off one wall. Rotate through. Boost, boost, boost. Hopefully you guys get a sense for how I play right now. Like, it's just one touch on the ball, off. One touch on the ball, off. And you see, like, how much pressure it creates. Like, we literally just get people to forfeit. And that, uh, that will wrap it up. Champ one, Div one again. He said, y'all are quacked. You're cracked. No way you guys are supposed to be down here, though. Moral of the story, in diamond, make your touch, rotate out, hit the ball off backboard, around, around, boost, 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 grab half boost, turn. Make your touch. Go for your shot on net. Rotate around. Boost, boost, boost. Turn. You do that, you're set. So yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. DM for coaching, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, join the Discord for free stuff, if you like free stuff. Uh, largest improvement Discord. There are tons of free tutorials in there. Just drop the settings tutorial in there, I think. And apart from that, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace, guys.